The following is a paid program brought to you by Henry Repeating Arms. Henry Repeating Arms is a family-owned business. My family has been in the gun business since 1911. The Henry Repeating Arms Company makes sure each part in every Henry rifle is made in America. We machine our own barrels, our own bolts, and deliver an American-made rifle that you would be proud to own. <laughs> Pretty good. A man who is just as real as they come, Anthony Inferrato, from all, all the way from Brooklyn. He is all about making sure that, that his product is made in the United States, and, and that's what Henry Repeating Arms are all about. Thank you for having me. I'm a little embarrassed, flattered, <laughs> thank you. I apologize if uh, you may have some difficulty understanding my Brooklyn accent. We may have to go to subtitles. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. We, we, we brought you a little Henry present, Henry cap, t-shirt, and one of our campfire mugs. It's a, it's a Henry tradition. I so love it. I want to get into the success of the company. And by the way, if you're just joining us, Henry Repeating Arms is our focus on the show uh, tonight. And uh, this is an American classic made in the USA. The signature, the real signature on, on that gun is the smooth lever action. I want, and for, if, you don't, uh, if you don't know what lever action is, uh, this is, this, explain it because this sure. is... Uh, this point. is this is lever action, and uh, this is inherently like this, meaning we don't have to sit there gunsmithing this. Henry is famous for having the slickest, smoothest action of any lever action on the market. Uh, the name Henry dates back to Benjamin Tyler Henry mm -hmm. and uh, his invention of the lever action rifle. So right. we are known for the lever action. It's our specialty. And the, our signature model is uh, the, the Henry Golden Boy. Uh, the original Henry was the first repeating rifle. And it became known as the rifle you can load on Sunday and mm -hmm. shoot all week long. I love it. And before we put that away, I wanted to read that inscription on the side because that's great. Okay. Go, can, let's see, can you see it from upside sure. down? Well, let, let me see if I could read it here. This happens to be what we call our personalized Golden Boy where... Uh -huh. People have the opportunity to put their own 20-word inscription of their choosing. And uh, a customer did this, but I had a second one made because I got a kick out of it. And it reads, guns only have two enemies, rust and politicians. <laughs> I tell you, uh, that's going to be on a plaque on everyone's wall. Uh, you can hear the cheering all the way across the country right now. That is, that is terrific. I want to point out a, an article that was in a magazine with your hand on the Bible swearing that Henry rifles would be made in America or they would not be made at all. Go ahead and explain that philosophy because that, that again, is one of those things that seems sure. to be lost. Well, that, that headline came from the heart, really, mm -hmm. meaning we're either going to make this stuff here or we're not going to make it at all. And uh, whether it's in our own industry or other industries, uh, some of them are quick to take a well-known American brand, have it made overseas somehow, slap their name on it, and the public thinks it's American, and, mm -hmm. and it's not. That's why I wanted to bring us to that, because all of the parts uh, of, of this gun are, they're, they're coming from right here in, in, in America. In the text of this ad, and I'm going to talk about this now, uh, we, we talk about where these components come from, and uh, we happen to fly this in, so let me just reach over here. This just came in, and you, you might see the, uh, the label here that it is from St. Joseph's, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And what this is is genuine American walnut. This is from an American walnut tree. And I'm not sure if we could get this off very easily. And it's wrapped well. They wrap things very well in Missouri, too. All of the walnut oh. in, our, in our rifles is genuine American walnut. That is beautiful. Primarily coming from three great states, state of Missouri, Kansas, mm -hmm. and Iowa. And uh, we, t we take great pride in that fact. You sand it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, <laughs> there's some machining to be done. And uh, besides, I would say, besides the smooth smoothness of our lever action, mm -hmm. we are most well known for using American walnut, and people really appreciate the look 
of the stocks on our guns. Absolutely. Now, beyond this, excuse me. Sure. You know what? Maybe I'll take Actually, this yep, off the table. I was going to go ahead and hand it to you. Thank you. Know, you get Thank the next you. part there. Going to reach over here. Moving now, into the metal. There are significant key components in a gun, mm -hmm. and one is the gun barrel. Sure. And this steel is what we call gun barrel quality steel, which comes from Ohio. Why is it so good? Well, it, it meets certain standards for a gun barrel, and that's what we as gun manufacturers look for. Our barrels are machined with both um, 1940s, 1940s gun drilling equipment that served this country very well during World War II, that's making cool. M1 carbine barrels, all the way up through computerized machinery that's, that's, used, that's used today. So it's a, it's a, it's a great combination of the sure. past and, and the current. Absolutely. Now, uh, moving on to the... Okay. These happen to be receivers uh, from different guns that we make. This is, the, is a steel casting mm -hmm. that comes from uh, Wisconsin. All right. We happen to have uh, a facility in Wisconsin that machines this. Anyway, again, here's Ohio, here's Wisconsin. We've already let's, seen Missouri. Let's, we've seen Missouri, Kansas, and Iowa. Actually, let's and, and Kansas is on the phone right now. Troy is, is on the line. I want to take a quote. We're sure. going to get back, right back to, the, to the, the parts. But Troy, go ahead. Thanks for calling. Hey, it's a pleasure talking to you this evening. Thank I was wanting to find out. I've got an eight-year-old son. What would be a good first uh, Henry rifle for him to start out with, like a 22 caliber? Well, th thank you for your interest in our product line, and thank you for wanting to pass on the shooting sports to your son. Uh, that's important if we want to continue to keep our right to bear arms. So thank you for that question. I'm going to reach over here for an eight-year-old that really doesn't have much experience we, I specifically designed this gun for this gentleman's call, mm -hmm. this kind of a call. And what this is, is a single shot stainless steel youth rifle uh, that has Williams fire sights with the two green dots Those and the cool. red dot, the red, uh, fr luminescent red front uh, mm -hmm. sight. And uh, this gun is being used by many youth organizations around the country, the NRA youth programs, National 4-H Shooting Sports, the International Hunters Education Association. This is an ideal gun for, for an, for an eight-year-old to begin with. It's only three and a half pounds. I was about to say, it's very, a nice very, good feel to it. Very lightweight, and uh, it's got two safeties on it. Perfect gun for teaching a youngster. And here is uh, you know, a father and a son sharing in something that they they're never going to they will never forget. Those moments, you know, you <clears throat> took your son to the range or your daughter. You know, it's something that memories that are going to last last a lifetime. Before we get back to the parts, I want to read uh, one of the emails that uh, that you got, uh, dear sir. Uh, something frightening happened this Christmas past. I realized that everything under the tree, almost everything in my house for that matter, was made in China. This is scary. There was one exception, a Henry rifle that Santa bought me. What, ex what outstanding quality. Thanks for keeping it in the USA and for making a product that I can pass along to future generations. You folks rock. And that is from Jim Quinlan in Johnson, New York. And there's a picture of uh, Jim uh, and the young'un there on the screen. So, uh, again, these are... Th these are real stories from real people who, who own these guns, and they are, they're top quality. And, and what you see in Anthony is what you get. He's an honest guy. He's working hard, and he, he's here to make you happy. This is a brass casting that comes mm -hmm. out of Pennsylvania that we use on, on our big boy product line. It goes through a special process called chill casting, machine heat treated, etc. And so we're giving... Uh, the consumer an opportunity to own a, a brass component receiver but has the same properties like steel right okay um, why would they choose that over steel I mean what is the what well the, the, you know it, the <clears throat> you want to make sure it has the strength right and, and, and to be able to hold up the same like steel so before we uh, people fell in love with our golden boy series which is a rimfire series and they wanted us to make larger caliber series for 
you know, deer hunting, that kind of a thing. If we wanted to retain the same look, how do we retain the same look yet have the same strength as a, as a steel receiver? Well, sure. we resolved that before we put the first gun out that door with this proprietary formula on how this particular receiver is made. But again, we're back to the states. This comes from Pennsylvania. Right. Okay. Uh, this happens to be what's called the receiver cover on our Henry Golden Boy. Now, this is made in, uh, in our plant in Wisconsin. The receiver actually sits underneath sure, okay, here. Sure. This, this, is a, this is a housing, and this happens to be one of the personalized covers with the 20-word inscription. And how this works is the, the consumer goes to the local gun shop, buys a standard Henry Golden Boy from the gun shop. Right. Then separately through our parts department, he can buy this housing with his own 20-word inscription mm -hmm. and fit it on the gun himself. It's easily replaceable. And this makes a, a wonderful and many times very sentimental gift for a lot of different reasons. For Father's Day, thanking someone for their service in the military, mm -hmm. and I can go on and on. We, we've had so many people write, whether it, it's funny or sentimental or political sayings, and it, it's, it's something that lives on and on. You know, you can write, oh, a, yeah. you can write a birthday card and write something nice, and a, a couple weeks later it's in the pail. This lives on. Another key component in, in a gun that we, we manufacture ourselves is the bolt. Right. It's kind of like the, the engine there in, in the middle of the gun. And this is what's called extruded steel. This comes out of Pittsburgh. And it's, it's a special shape. It comes in these long 12-foot bars, and, and we cut it to a certain length. Sure. And then it's machined in-house. And actually, the machines that make our bolts run seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Do they really? Yeah, they do. Uh, Henry's in Kentucky, uh, strangely enough. Henry, how are you? Pretty good, young man. How are you today? Doing fabulous. Sir, I just want you to know that Kentucky <clears throat> is our number one state in the country for selling our rifles. So thank you, and to, thank you to you and your fellow Kentuckians. Per oh. capita, it's our best state. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, what is a caliber on that Henry rifle? The rifle that was in my hands is 22 caliber. Yeah, uh, you ain't got nothing bigger than that? We, we do. Uh, I'll tell you about the calibers that we, that we make. In the Rimfire series, we make 22 long rifle, which can also shoot 22 short. We make 22 Magnum and 17 HMR, which are both varmint cartridges, you know, for pest control on the farms and things like that. Uh, we also make a uh, 45 Colt, which is primarily used for cowboy action shooting. We make a 44 Magnum slash 44 Special, which is used for brush hunting. And we also make a 357 Magnum slash 38 Special, which is used for hunting and or cowboy action. This year we introduced uh, a 3030 in both the steel version and in the brass version. And that's the classic white tail deer caliber 3030. I want to get to the, the commemoratives that we're going to talk about here in just a second. But the Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, uh, Henry uh, rifle, where is it now? Abraham Lincoln has mm -hmm. had the original Henry rifle in serial number six was mm -hmm. presented to him. And it resides now in the Smithsonian. Uh, it it's, was embellished with his name on it. And it is the most valuable antique historical firearm in the country. It's worth millions of dollars. Uh, Eddie's on the line from Tennessee. Hey, Eddie. Hey, how are you doing? Great, thank you, and thanks for calling. I just got a, kind of a small comment about these people. I've, I've got a Henry Big Boy, and it's one of the best guns I ever had. And I really appreciate these people using American products and American workers to build this gun. Uh, we see a lot of people down here in Tennessee losing their jobs because they're going out of, out of the country. and. If the country and our government and these other businesses to take note of their business practices at Henry, we might not be in the shape we're in today. Sir, thank you very much. Uh, you're giving me goosebumps. I, we, I certainly ap appreciate that. And feel free, f feel free to email me the same, anthony at henryrepeating.com. We'd love to post your comments on our, on our website. We take great pride in the fact that 
uh, our guns are made in America. And you know, today there's a lot of talk about going green. Yep. Well, we look at it this way. Going green is great, but protecting red, white, and blue is better. Amen. Tell me about the Boy Scout uh, commemorative gun as well. Well, this is, this is really a great honor. Uh, we went through a two, three year selection process with the Boy Scouts, and we were honored to be selected as the official licensee for the 100th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. And it's an incredible American institution, a great milestone, and we are just thrilled to be part of it. This gun is embellished with the Scout's Oath mm -hmm. on one side of the receiver, Scout's Law on the other side, what is called a traditional Boy Scout logo also right. on the receiver, and at the same time, the 100th anniversary logo on the, on the buttstock. What a fabulous piece of art. The, the gun features uh, an octagonal barrel, a brass uh, barrel band, brass butt plate. Uh, there's a company in the U.S. called Marbles Outdoors. They make, they make our sights. It's, it's a uh, semi-buckhorn, fully adjustable uh, rear sight with a beaded front sight. And of course, the famous uh, Henry Smooth lever action. And do that for me again. I want to see yep. that lever action because that is now this kind of a gun is a co is a collector's piece sure. you know, for display. Absolutely. The uh, the serial numbers will run BSA Boy Scouts of America 001 on forward, and the Boy Scouts of America will earn a royalty on each gun that is sold. I love it. Let's go to uh, Bill in New York. Hey, Bill. Hi. Thanks for watching, and thank you for calling. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, I just want to comment. I own uh, three Henry rifles. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the, the big boy, which I had to get to match my 45 Colt pistol. And as long as I had the biggest bore Henry, I had to get the smallest bore Henry, which is the 17, and I just enjoy that to no end. And, uh, of course, I had to get the... 22 just in the blued uh, just for squirrels and such but um, I appreciate uh, the fact that it's all US made I go out of my way to buy US made products and it's almost an impossibility nowadays and uh, it's um, it's a great thing to know that it is all US made and just want to say I appreciate it so I enjoy my rifle very much thank you very much I mean owning three of our rifles we're very appreciative, and uh, you have a, a great selection there. The 45 Colt, uh, I'm sure you use it for both, you know, for cowboy along with your with your revolver revolver as a companion piece. You you've got the 17 caliber, which is a a varmint a varmint cartridge, and then again, like you said, one of our classic blued lever actions. So. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. All right. Well, Skip is in Michigan right now. Skip, thanks for calling. Uh, Anthony, listen, man. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to tell you, I've been a Henry fan ever since I saw the movie Silverado with Danny Glover. <laughs> and to listen to that weapon, I didn't realize that my uncle down in Texas had a Henry back in the day. I am trying my best to find that Henry. He had a big 45 Henry. I think I guess they call it the big boy. And that's the one I want, because I want to make sure that my boys have that when I'm gone. That is an awesome weapon. Well, sir, thank you very much. If you do find an original Henry, which may have been in, in, in your family, as you say, very valuable. Even the Original Henrys, even in extremely poor condition, start uh -huh. at about $15,000. Uh, on the on the uh, auction on the auction market and go up into several hundred thousand dollars for an original because only thirteen thousand units were were ma thirteen to fourteen thousand units of the original Henry rifle were were ever made. I want to you to tell me about the the phone call that your uh, your dad took, uh, someone thanking him for what the the two of you were doing at the time. This is this is great. I didn't realize that. We were back on solid ground again until I got this phone call, which my father said, you know, why don't you pick up the phone? I said, who is it? He said, just pick up the phone. Hurry up. Pick up the phone, and it's uh, former President uh, George Bush right. uh, on the line telling me how much he appreciates what we're doing and the great job that my father and I are doing, and that was, was a great moment. 
That's mind blowing. That was very, very nice. That is absolutely mind blowing. And and again, it is. You do the right thing, and good things happen. You know, when when things started going right, thank God, knock on wood. I just felt we need we need to give back, not only to our industry but to some other uh, entities. And I started for, uh, an internal program called Guns for Great <coughs> Causes, and it started actually with. Um, the Roger Maris Cancer Foundation. My, my son and I are big Yankee baseball fans. Apologies to the rest of the, uh, the teams out there. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we both loved Roger Maris and, uh, from watching the movie 61. Yeah, there it is. And each year we embellish two Henry rifles with uh, something related to Maris and baseball, etc. Uh, I can't remember what the guns brought last year, but the year before they brought two guns brought close to $30,000 for the Roger Maris Cancer Foundation. Uh, we also work with uh, the Fisher House, which is for military families, uh, Armor for Troops, and uh, several other organizations. We're closing in the last few minutes of the show, and I, I, I was just drooling all over this before, uh, before we went on the air. And I want, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to pull it out. I want you to tell me all about this, because this I'm telling you, if you're looking for a Christmas present, especially for me, uh, this is something for every collector. And the, obviously, on, on the front of the box, it says Henry U.S. Survival, so it would be a survival kit. There we go, right there. Uh, and, it's ideal for most and, outdoorsmen. Yeah, it, this is perfect. Now, this is what comes, this is what's in the box. And I'm going to pull this back here because you do need to use your body to, to, to put this together. But you pry off the bottom. And you pull that, and, I, and you tell me what these parts are as I'm pulling That's them out. That's the receiver it's right. itself with a magazine in it. All right, I'm going to pull out the barrel as well. All right, so basically what we have here so far are several parts, and this goes together in about no time flat. While I'm, where did this idea come from? This design dates back to 1959. Uh, it was de designed by a gentleman by the name of Stoner who happened to invent a very famous rifle, the M16. Mm -hmm. And it was designed for the United States Air Force uh, for, uh, you know, golf forbid, survival rifle, sure. plane went down, etc. It can be uh, assembled quite quickly, as you can see. Very good job. This, by the way, is the second proud time I've done this. Yeah, proud of you. First time was blindfolded. So let me just tell you, this thing this it's cool this is cool <laughs> all right uh let's uh, take another call from frank in virginia hey frank hey how you doing absolutely you? great i want to thank anthony for doing a great job of making a great rifle i own two of his rifles and the uh, 22 magnum at 75 yards is the only gun i ever seen that would put a hole through a dime ever shot i mean this is what turns me on i love hearing the family stories what people are doing with our guns you know, where they come from. You know, we're from New York City, and we have one way of life, and we're talking to people in rural America, which mm -hmm. is great. They tell us about what, the, what, what their lives are all about, and, we, you know, we exchange communication. I love that. So feel free to call me, email me, contact us, and you, you'll, you'll get me on the phone, or you'll, you'll get me online on the computer. Who uses Henry Rifles? I mean, I know you have a long list, but basically... In, in short, uh, you, we've got a collector's market. that We've got uh, target shooters, plinkers, cowboy action shooters, some big game hunters, varmint hunters. Primarily, you know, in the rural areas, they love our 22 Magnum, our 17 HMR for pest control, prairie dogs, uh, coyotes, raccoons, that kind of a thing. Ed's on the line from Virginia. Hey, Ed, thanks for calling. Hey, thank you all. Uh, I, I would just like to make a comment about the uh, customer service and that uh, I bought a uh, little Henry carbine with a large loop and 22 long rifle and loved that like nobody's business. And then I decided I wanted to get one of the uh, Frontier model uh, 22 Magnums, but wanted the large loop and gave Mr. Anthony there a uh, email about possibly getting a large loop off of the, uh, you know, from the factory. And immediately I got an email back. I gave it to my FFL dealer, and within 10 days I had the rifle sitting in my hand. And you can't beat that kind of service. I don't care what anybody says. You, we go to great lengths to make sure, again, the, the customer is happy. And part of all of that is... Um, 
I handle virtually all of our emails ourselves, myself, excuse mm -hmm. me, take a lot of consumer calls. I want to hear what's going, going on out there, the good, the bad, and the in-between. And we, we're going to make it right for that customer. They're taking their hard-earned money. They're spending it on our product. We appreciate that. And I take it very personally. Uh, we got time for a couple more phone calls here. Bobby is in Florida. Hey, Bobby. Hi. Uh, I'd like to first off say uh, thank you to Anthony for being such a great American, buying American, building American. I have five Henrys myself, all the Golden Boys and a one big boy. Uh, I'm a John Deere salesman, not trying to plug them, but they're American also. And <laughs> I buy them for my customers. I bought like 12 uh, Long Rifle 22 Golden Boys. When I give them to my customers, they are, it's like the, it's the greatest gift I've ever been able to give any of them. I had a quick story, too. I uh, broke a stock on one. I'm a cowboy, and I was uh, back in a horse out of a trailer. I always had my horse, uh, saddle, uh, saddle gun on my horse, a 22 long rifle. And uh, I broke the stock. Within two, three days, I had one from Henry. The people were very, very nice, very helpful. I, I didn't personally get to talk to Mr. Anthony, but I will be emailing him. But I just want to thank you. Thank you a lot, and uh, thanks, RFD. Sir, you're, you're a gentleman. Thank you very much. We, we do appreciate that. Do it? Do it. tell everybody what they get uh, when they go to the website because uh, you can Great. find a list Thank of dealers, etc. Uh, if, if you don't mind, try and go to our website first to order the catalog as opposed, as opposed to calling because you might, with a lot of calls, get a busy signal at some mm -hmm. point. Uh, also, when you go to the website to order the catalog, uh, when, uh, you can post a comment for me, send me an email right there at the same time that you order the catalog. You get the catalog uh, get, and a list of dealers, right? You'll get the catalog, a list of dealers within a 50-mile radius, and you'll get a load on Sunday shoot all week long decal, Henry decal. That's very cool. Anthony, it has been a pleasure. Sir, thank you very much. The preceding show is a paid program brought to you by Henry Repeating Arms.